It's the day many have been waiting for, the 2011 gun deer season opener, and our own Emily Dean is spending the morning learning all about the tradition of hunting. Hi, Emily. And good morning to you. Hi, everybody. We're checking out a pretty sweet hunting shack this morning. The founder of the uh, Possum Lodge, Eugene Betcher, actually built this lodge out here. He was a former taxidermist. Take a look at this hat rack. It's no ordinary hat rack. Deer legs actually are the hook, so you can put it right on there. We'll take a look at this big buck that we have up there. Uh, this is his granddaughter's t d buck, actually, that she shot, Tanya. Take a look at why this buck is so special to her. The headline reads, Hunter Bag's first big buck in three years. Uh, that is Tanya Schrader, and she is here with me this morning. We're introducing you to the Betcher family out here at the Possum Lodge. Tanya, when you look at this picture, you shot that buck when you were 14. You're 23 now. You're back home. You went to the Air Force. You're back home in 2008 was your last time hunting. Now you're here. Tell me how that feels. Feels good to be home. Um... I shot this deer in 2002. I was 14 years old. Um, I shot it, I think it was opening morning at about 6.45 in the morning, so I got really lucky right away. Um, I was sitting with my dad, and um, since I was so young, he always helped me out, and he said that it was a buck, but we couldn't really tell how big it was. And so after I shot it and it dropped down, we went out to look and see how big it was, and neither of us could even believe that it was as big as it was. And I kind of got spoiled because I, I guess I, at that young age, I expected to see more of that, but that's been my biggest so far. And if you take a look behind, there is the buck right there, and you're called the one-shot wonder because you shoot everyone with just one shot, which is pretty amazing. And I know your brother Ryan's over here. Ryan, your sister is called the one-shot wonder. Do you feel kind of jealous about that? Uh, yeah, sometimes I can feel jealous. I, I got a buck of my own last year to try and compete, but it's not quite as big as hers. Uh, but I'm still happy with it, and uh, hopefully I'll get one bigger this year. Yeah, exactly. Uh, another year, it's a new year to go out there. Well, your girlfriend, Megan, is here, and then also Tanya's friend, Toby, is over here. They're both going to be sitting with them and being their supporters. Well, Toby is actually from Louisiana. This is his first time coming out here for the Wisconsin hunt. Uh, what are you, like, going to expect? You said it was comfortable, right? Because what kind of hunting conditions do you go through in Louisiana? Uh, back home, we usually hunt uh, in a swamp. Uh, we can only get there by boat, and we can't dress as comfortable. We don't have tree stands like these guys have. So to be dressed in layers is somewhat comfortable. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Some people may think it's pretty tough walking through snow to their stands. Yeah, imagine walking through the swamp. And Tanya, I've been telling you, she's been texting me, kind of giving me the play-by-play. -play. She's out in her stand right now. She just texted me and said she saw a nice little six-pointer. So we'll see if she sees any more this morning and tomorrow morning, too. For now, we'll send it back to you guys. All right. Thanks, Emily.